Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Um, Peach! Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Hey, he don't mind. Keeps him safe from me mates. <laughs> Raids make him rabid. Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. This Ranga better not go yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Mindora by now, but he's such a nice little pigeon. What? Oh, oh, hey! Minthora don't give a cake what you think! Bah! Just take him if you care so much! See if he'll sing for the likes of you, though. Nutty think. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Haha! <laughs> Look at this! I'm quite saved! A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. We mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings... ...once we've found somewhere safe to parley. An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain!
foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below. Steady three. Stop them. Free me. Again. Again. Make it squeal again. We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. about it. Never seen someone so worked up over a stupid animal. But, but I want to hear it squeal. We'll be the ones squealing if we piss off the bear hugger. Hope you can control the furry bastard. Good. Now they die. Time for blood. Heading there. Not the bravest strategy, I'll ever.
set him up. for the ages. going. before me. for this.
Come on, can't stay idle. Time to press ahead. these mortals be. Forever, pal. Count on me. Dear Carla. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? <laughs> a true friend of nature, or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I must admit, I didn't expect anyone would come to my aid. Who in their right mind would infiltrate a goblin-infested temple? Unless... Hmm, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hm. 
Hmm. That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Korga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drowmin Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. There is no safety, not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Be warned, my presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here.
I'll take that. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid-dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Still blocked but should be easy enough to clear. <laughs> 